60s on the map, relative humidity at 77%, and we do have that west-southwesterly wind coming in at about three miles per hour. Notice we are seeing just a couple of isolated storms now firing up on the eastern portions of, say, San Juan County down into McKinley County. Otherwise, here in the metro, we are dry. We are tracking some of these showers that have been ongoing so, since around midnight uh, overnight, anywhere from Roswell down towards Hagerman, Artesia, Carlsbad, up towards Tatum. You saw some strong thunderstorms about an hour or two ago. A lot of those now lifting up to the north and east and kind of fizzling out as they kind of push over into uh, parts of West Texas. Texas. Also up in the northeastern portions of the state between Wagon Mound and Roy, we were tracking a couple of these isolated to widely scattered at scattered showers, but notice they're kind of fizzling out. But be on the lookout later this afternoon. This is the area where we could see some strong to severe storms. I think after two o'clock, the main threats being the large hail and also some of those damaging winds. As far as temperatures go this morning, a little rain cooled up towards, say, Taos, Raton. You're in the low to mid 50s right now. Trinidad at 58, the low 50s in Pagosa Springs. Cortez, you're also at 51. Check out Farmington, 61, and your dew points are in the 40s right now, so it's rather comfortable as you get the day started. Right here in Albuquerque, the Sunport reporting 62 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Roswell and Carlsbad. Middle to upper 70s, still a bit on the muggy side with some of those showers coming down and then out to the west, the Boot Hill, Silver City, uh, mid 60s, Deming and even Las Cruces waking up with numbers around 71 uh, to 72 degrees. Uh, the uh, here we go Wednesday, partly cloudy this afternoon. Storms kind of favoring the southern tier of the state also out to the east. Again, some of these could be pushing out some locally heavy rainfall, even though we don't have any of those flash flood watches in effect for Ruidoso. You do have about a 40 to 50 percent chance for some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms. And like I mentioned earlier, some strong to severe storms mainly across northeast New Mexico after two, three o'clock this afternoon. Rubidoso, we hit 80 today. Alamogordo at 92 triple digits this afternoon in Roswell with that 30 percent chance for some of those scattered storms. You're sunny and dry on Thursday with a high of 102 and then notice will increase that storm chance once again going into our Friday Silver City. We're at 87 degrees with some of those storms firing up in the higher elevations and then making their way into those lower elevations during the afternoon and evening. Farmington, though, you're sunny, you're dry. We'll see low relative humidity this afternoon at 93, turning breezy tomorrow. Sunny for the July 4th holiday with a high of 92. Chama, we're at 81 today. Red River at 73 with a few passing storms. Santa Fe, notice that storm chance drops down to about 10% today with a high of 89. We're back in the low 90s tomorrow with mainly dry conditions and sunny skies for the 4th. Las Vegas at 84 today. Santa Rosa at 90 degrees. Tucum Carry at 93 with more strong storms on the way later on today. Upper 80s in Moriarty. Estancia, we have 95 in Belen Los Lunas. Bosque Farms, you're at 94 today with the low 90s in the foothills and Placitas. Rio Rancho coming in at about 94. I do think we will see a mix of sun and clouds. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a stray shower or thunderstorm, but notice that's at about 10% here in Albuquerque. We'll see sun and clouds this afternoon, 94 turning breezy for the 4th of July, 97. So yeah, it's going to be hot, dry, mostly sunny. We'll drop down into the mid 60s with some of those East Canyon winds by early Friday morning. A slight chance for an isolated storm through Saturday, dry on Sunday, low 90s for Monday with a few isolated storms.